My name is Gary Watts of Altamimi and I'm very happy to talk to you today about the role that Altamimi plays in uh, supporting businesses and supporting development right through the Middle East. Since its origins in the United Arab Emirates in 1989, um, Altamimi has grown into the largest law firm operating in the region. Um, we have a total of 350 lawyers practicing law uh, in nine countries, uh, all of them in the Middle East and all of them uh, practicing in, in, in an environment which is uh, supervised by the Arabic legal framework. Perhaps what sets Altamimi apart from um, any other law firms in the region is the fact that we've got um, a very good mix and a very good combination of uh, Arabic trained lawyers who are well versed in the legal systems of the countries in the Middle East, combined with a lot of um, lawyers from, from many other parts of the world uh, and between uh, the blend of skills, we can deliver legal work which is very much tailored to the Middle Eastern legal systems in which we operate, which is very effective at delivering results for the clients on the ground, and, but which is delivered to international standards. Uh, we're very uh, pleased to be invited to participate um, in this uh, exciting conference about uh, mergers and acquisitions and the pri private equity in Egypt. Um, two of the sectors that have been discussed this morning have been sectors where we have a strong involvement, namely healthcare and education, where there is an extremely high degree of legal regulation and quite a maze of red tape for clients to navigate. And we pride ourselves on being able to cut through that red tape and basically help clients achieve uh, real strategic advantages and, and execute their business plans, which is really what it's all about. So far as the, uh, the healthcare industry is concerned, uh, we foresee considerable growth in that industry over the next few years, uh, which is going to be probably facilitated by major changes in policies of governments across the region. Uh, countries across the region uh, are now uh, encouraging mandatory health in insurance uh, for all employers. And that really requires an, a big expansion of healthcare facilities healthcare infrastructure and healthcare expenditures and there's many of the most significant operators in the world are actually looking to see how they can get involved in the opportunities that are now presenting themselves in the Middle East. Education uh, is another sector which has been driven by a combination of population growth and economic growth in the region. Um, there is a very large uh, uh, demand for quality education uh, throughout the Middle East and some of the governments have indicated that there's going to be major changes to policy and regulation which will make it uh, much easier for uh, global and international operators to come in and, and offer their services in these markets. And once again, uh, we're seeing a lot of activity in those industry sectors.